So we are really excited about this episode on the Cornwall Kitchen and that is with Simon from the Cornish Moonshine Company. Simon, tell us what we're gonna to make today. We're gonna to do the, the easiest dish that you probably will ever cook in your life. That's I think why we're gonna get you involved as well, Shane. Mm. Um, we're gonna do barbecue, moonshine, um, slow roasted ribs. Very, very nice. Where have your ribs come from, by the way? You, you, you can get hold of these from basically any butcher. Um, you don't want to be going to Asda or Tesco or any of that because they probably won't have it in stock. Okay. But if, if you ring up your butcher, especially now, I think, with the, the COVID thing on, you might want to ring them up to order it before you actually pop down to pick them up because you'll probably want to chop them up. But just ask for beef short, beef short ribs. Yeah. Um, and they are in short. Short ribs. Basically, yeah. the, the whole rib is quite long, yeah. but you, you want to get him to chop them in half. Yeah, so you, you don't want to be doing that in, sure. in, in, in your place, trying to no. like hack the bones no, and things. Like you want them small enough that they're going to go into a pot. Um, the ingredients we're going to be using are so simple. We've, we've kind of, sh we've got it down to the bare minimum to make it easy for everybody to use. It's probably going to be stuff they're going to have in their own house that they can sure. grab hold of. Okay. Um, we're going to need onion chopping yes. to start with. So I'll make a start on that. Yeah. Now, bearing in mind, anyone who's watched our program before um, will realise that I don't eat much a, stuff. A, I'm very fussy. A cookery program. For a cookery program, they've probably got the worst presenter in the world. And that being said, um, my cutting skills aren't the best. Shall I chop but, the end off to start with? Right. And then that'll make it a lot easier well, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I'll start crying. No, no, no. No, 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 you'll be fine. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I, that's the other thing. They really make me cry, these onions. But they said that anyone who says an onion makes you cry yeah. has never been hit in the face with a turnip. Really, is that a thing? Yeah, because that hurts and that will make you cry. So, you know, that has taken me a while. It was going to be a quick recipe. You know? It was going to be, so now, right, so do you want gonna, these in cubes or are you happy with like... We'll kind of, do thin slices. Yes, I'm glad, thin. Thin. So right. you want to chop that? Right, so I was going to go right, like, right down there, you yeah? Know? Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Yeah. So like Mind that. your fingers. Yeah, I know, this is, this is where I get scared. Okay, we only right. need half of it. Is that it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. And then you're right-handed? Uh, yes. Okay, turn, turn it around so you want this bit yeah. on that side and then yeah. th as thin slices as you can. Right, okay, so. Thinner. What? But I had to no, start fine, off, right? I just had to, so, okay, yeah. so you've, oh, look at that. Now I'm not the quickest now because. That's fine, while you're doing that, I can go through the, the other ingredients. Do it, tell them. Um, we have got, which is available um, on the online shops and preserves. Uh, these are made by a guy called Jake Kendall from uh, Cornish Larder. Mm. Uh, he's incredible. So they're, they're like, uses, uses the top ingredients. Um, and for this recipe, we're going to be using a barbecue sauce um, and our chili jam that we've got as well. Mm. So what you could be doing, if you were doing it at home, if you wanted to do a longer recipe, you can use rubs on the meats, you can do all sorts, but we kind of want to get it down to as, uh, an easier recipe as we can because you're going to be doing it basically. Right, okay, right. So, so once you chop the onions... These are thin. I'm taking my time and I'm... I'm <laughs> so I'm getting towards the end now. What do you do with that? I would just leave that. Yeah, yeah we'll that's fine. just leave fine. that. You don't want that. Cool. Right, Break so those up into the pot. Break them up into the pot. Here we go. We're using a cooking pot, but you could use a roasting tray um, and put foil on the top. So really any, whatever pot you've got at home, which would be kind of big enough to, to fit the ribs in. Okay, uh, right. So next goes in the barbecue yeah. sauce. Okay. In she goes, in she goes. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the first time yeah. I've done anything. Anyone's given me like the oh, opportunity. You, there's no reason why you can't do oh. this. And anybody at home that's not a massive, um, you know, not into cooking yep. in a big way. This is the, literally the easiest right, that's dish that's you will ever cook, w which will give you the biggest flavour payoff at the okay. end. Okay. Right. Now what? Next is we'll go for about half a jar of the chili. Right. I see. I don't. I like chili and all, so that's good. So really, we're using Jay, Jake's ingredients and flavourings yep. to make it that's easier for right. you to, right. to, to give us a good. So he's done the hard work, really. Exactly. He's done all the hard work. You just take advantage of that. I've taken advantage of it. If you don't want to buy the moonshine chili jam or the moonshine barbecue sauce, you can use barbecue sauce that you've got at home. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, um, Why wouldn't anyone want to buy yours? I'll, I'll just buy yours. Let's keep it simple. Cool. Right? Now what? Next, a bit of alcohol. You, can't, yeah. you cannot beat 
a bit of alcohol when you're cooking right. beef. So anyway, that's been a fantastic hey. session. <laughs> so we, we, use, we use alcohol all the time. How much of this? Right, I think fill up so we, so we can get the measures yes. right. The bar, the, you've got the empty barbecue sauce. Yes. It will foam up, so just fill that up. That'll probably be enough. Wow, what a good little tip that yeah. is. Yes, and you'll clean out and get the rest of the barbecue yeah. sauce in there as well. That's what fine. Just pop like that, that in. Yeah, yeah that'll be, be oh. about bang on. And then you want to give that a really good mix. Okay. So there's your sauce. There's my sauce. I mean, it, it literally. Use a spoon? Yep, yeah. yep. Here we go. You seem to be managing well, Shane. I'll tell you what, with your help, I could be the best. You reckon? <laughs> the, the best? <laughs> well, one of the best. You mm. know? But uh, is this the sort of thing, I know we're here talking about Cornish moonshine today, but yeah. is this the sort of thing you'd have down at uh, the Rebellion restaurant? Well, I was just about to say, we, we use alcohol in, mm -hmm. in a lot of our dishes. When we, when we do our roast pork, we mm. use uh, Rattler yeah. cider. It just, uh, any alcohol that you add to meat and, and slow cook, it just, add, it just adds another depth to the flavour of mm. whatever you're cooking. So next is basically the ribs just go in to the pot. Right, okay. Well, all of them, just yeah, yeah, one, pop them all in. Just pop them all in. And make sure they get a good coating so yeah. you want to get your hands what, dirty now. Kind of flip them over? Yeah, yeah, flip them, flip them flip over. around. Just get my hands dirty. Yeah, it's like being at school. Everyone likes that, don't they? You know? Oh, this is so easy so yeah, exactly. far. Exactly, yeah. It's also the perfect thing you can do if you're planning on going out for a few bevies or yeah. a few beers. Oh, I'm going to do this for not hell. That that's going to happen. Over the moon. It's not going to happen for a while. No. Um, but you can that. you can prep this before you go out. It's a messy. <laughs> it's a messy going on here. Right. Okay. I don't know if this other one's going to fit in there, Si. And then when we got back from the pub, it's it's ready it's like ready to go. Like that. That's it. Give it a good. And it'll coating. shrink a bit anyway, I guess, as it cooks when it's it, it'll it will do. Place, yeah. So. so lid on. Hang on a minute. I want to tilt it one more time. Right, there we go. Actually, let's have a hand wash first. Oh yeah, good point. I am going to phone Adrian at my local butchers, Pierce's. But Pierce's, yeah, out. yeah, yeah. And well, so this is where they're from. Have you got any short ribs to go and spare? Yeah, exactly. Well, I can buy. Yeah, I don't think it's one of those things that a lot of people know about. Short ribs. So, but it's but it's something all butchers have got, and you literally you can't beat the flavour because in the bone on the short rib, you've got the marrow bone in there as well. That's why you cook it on the bone. Mm. It just adds to the flavour completely. Job done. Stick it in the oven. That's it. Temperature. How long for? Right. You want to be slowing it quite, uh, cooking it quite slowly. So you want to put it on about 170 for about three and a half hours. Okay. Just so it's ticking over. Yep. Or if you wanted to leave it a little bit longer, then obviously just re reduce the temperature. I hear so you. So if you're sticking in at 160, then maybe for like four, four hours. Sure. Yeah. Okay, well, with the wonders of television, we uh, are not gonna make you wait that long. Uh, luckily, Simon's got one in the oven that he prepared earlier. I've always wanted to say that as well. Like, <laughs> growing up watching Blue Peter and things, we've got one here that we prepared earlier. So um, just move this one to the back a moment. Like that. Oh, hey. fantastic. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Cool. So we'll plate it up. I've got some, oh, I made some we, cold cannon earlier we'll on. Do. We want to put this. Yep. Tell you what, let's put the pot over yep. the other side like that. So we we'll put the plate in the middle. That's it. That's what we're talking about. Square that up a bit more. <laughs> the cold cannon is basically mashed potato bit of cream, black pepper, do the and some cabbage. Oh, that's what you've done, so it's not even just plain match. It just, just, just jazzes it up a little bit, yeah, adds yeah, a little yeah. bit of... That, that was these? probably more complicated than the actual, the ribs itself. Do you need one of these or anything? I'll grab... Oh, yeah. oh, look at this, he's all prepared. Oh, it's mate, look at this. <gasps> you, what you said, oh. about, you said about the meat shrinking off the yeah. bone, you can yeah, yeah, see yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. and this one actually is actually falling oh, off the bone, so the bone's in there somewhere. Now, not many things we make on the programme I can actually eat, but I know that I'm going to actually... Look at that. Oh, look. And because it's quite a lean meat, I've not taken off any of the fat from there. That's, sure. that's kind of just juice, and, it, and it's kind of... This is amazing. So we'll make sure we've got all the links for buying what you need from the Cornish Moonshine on the screen. And of course- You don't have website. to. I mean, I'd much yeah, rather somebody yeah, exactly. cooked it yeah. with stuff that they got at, got at home. Sure, yeah, you don't have to. But if you're like me and thinking, this is great. And supporting Cornish businesses as well would be amazing. Oh, Si, I tell you what. Huh? Hey, you're gonna make someone a lovely wife one day. <laughs>
Well, that's absolutely magical, and it is smelling delicious again. You, got, you are going to try it then? I am going to try a bit. We do need to get some pictures of it, so I'll eat this from behind so that uh, it doesn't look bad when we actually uh, film it afterwards. Let me go from the side here. I don't want to ruin the display because I know No, dig in. Give it a give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. But my goodness me, mate. I'm all over this like a cheap Trago soup. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You can definitely taste the alcohol, taste the flavour there yeah, as well. Yeah. But that is absolutely lush, mate. I mean, because we cooked it for so long, the alcohol's mm. burned off, but, but it just leaves well, that kind of... Well, especially the... because we're using a dark ale as well mm. from Sharps. It cuts through. I like yeah, it. yeah. I mean, but you could mm. use you could use red wine. You don't have to use ale. You can use um, stout. Oh, um, that is absolutely delicious, mate. Good. Out of ten, it's a definite nine. Great. Hey. Because never ever give anyone full marks. Someone said to me once because there's always room for improvement. Where that's going to be, I don't know because that is absolutely stunning. So there you go. That's something you can make at home. If I can do it then you can do it. My thanks to Simon and everyone, the whole team at the Cornish Moonshine Company and of course everyone at Rebellion. And um, this is something we can certainly do during lockdown. So thank you very much, mate. Cheers.